Just after looking at this equation, you might think that simply put x equals 1, and that's it. While x equals 1 is indeed a solution, this equation is actually a fifth-degree polynomial, which means it has five roots in total, not just one. So, can you find all the five roots of x? Now, because x equals 1 is a solution to this equation, so we can rewrite this x raised to 5 minus 1 as x minus 1 times something, and that something will be a quartic polynomial, which means it will have power of 4. Math is not just about doing big calculations. It's about finding smart and easy ways to solve problems. Do you know about geometric progressions, where we have a sequence in which each term is multiplied by the same number to get the next one? Like, if we have a sequence 1, r, r squared, r cubed, r to the power 4, and so on, then this is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of r, because we are getting the next term in the sequence by multiplying the current number with r. Here's the interesting part about this geometric sequence. If you add all these values together like this, then this is called the sum of a geometric series. And there's a very neat trick to find this sum. We use a formula which says that the sum is equal to r to the power 5 minus 1 divided by r minus 1, as long as r is not equal to 1. Oh, can you look at something amazing? If we replace r with x, then we get this. And if we take x minus 1 here, then we get x to the 5 minus 1 as x minus 1 times this degree 4 polynomial. Now, if we equate this to 0, we get x as 1, and also this quartic polynomial equals 0. This equation will give us the rest of the four values, noise. Now, how to solve this? Again, we will use a clever trick here. Divide both sides by x square, assuming x is not equal to 0. Write each term separately, like this. x to the fourth power over x square will become x square then plus x cube over x square will become x, then plus x square over x square will be 1, then plus x over x square will become 1 over x, and this plus 1 over x square equals 0. Group both of them together like this, and these two together like this. Now, take x plus 1 over x and square it. We get x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 times x times 1 over x, or 2. Take this 2 here to get x square plus 1 over x square as x plus 1 over x, whole square minus 2. Next, just substitute this x square plus 1 over x square as this here to get x plus 1 over x. Whole square minus 2 plus x plus 1 over x plus 1 equals 0. Now, let x plus 1 over x equals a variable t. So we have t square minus 2 plus t plus 1 equals 0, or t square plus t minus 1 equals 0. Now, I will not bore you by solving this quadratic equation. We can do so by using a quadratic formula like this. We get t value as minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 and minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. But we are not done yet because we have x plus 1 over x equals t. So when t equals minus 1 plus root 5 over 2, then we get this. This will become x square plus 1 over x equals this. Now take 2 here and x here to get 2x square plus 2 equals x times minus 1 plus root 5. Rearrange this to get 2x square plus x times 1 minus root 5 plus 2 equals 0. Again, I will not bore you by solving this quadratic equation, and we get x equals root 5 minus 1 by 4 plus minus i over 2 times under root 5 plus root 5 over 2. Yes, both these values of x are complex numbers. Now similarly, we will solve for x plus 1 over x when t is minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. This will become x squared plus 1 over x equals this. Now take 2 here and x here to get 2x squared plus 2 equals x times minus 1 minus root 5. 
Rearrange this to get 2x squared plus x times 1 plus root 5 plus 2 equals 0. On solving this quadratic equation, we get x as minus root 5 plus 1 over 4 plus minus i over 2 times under root 5 minus root 5 over 2. So overall, these are the five values of x, which satisfy the equation x, to the 5 minus 1 equals 0. My head is spinning right now. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!